Almost all of baseball crossing the aisle, if you will, this weekend as the league engages in the season's second edition of interleague play. And while such series as Yanks, Mets, and Phil's Bo Sox may seem sexiest, the Dodgers and Rangers rather quietly continuing their competition of two first-place teams. L.A. and Texas game two of three between the respective West Division leaders. Rangers took the opener six-zip. This one, both starters strong early. Scott Feldman sits down Casey Blake. His counterpart, Randy Wolf, in it to win it, takes care of David Murphy. We're scoreless through three. Top four now, good D. Blake grounds to second. Ian Kinsler checks the runner, then fires to first. No runs for either squad through five. When we have ourselves a Texas-sized issue, an entire bank of lights isn't working. Joe Torre comes on out and... Go ahead and fill in your own. How many baseball people does it take to change a light bulb joke here? After a delay of more than an hour and a half, the lights are back on. The play resumes as well. New pitchers for both teams. Juan Pierre takes advantage, swiping second, then advancing to third on the error. Pierre would later score the game's first run on a fielder's choice. It's one zip L.A. Bottom six, former Dodger Andrew Jones. Still trying to validate that absurd contract. Solo shot to right. We're tied at one. Top seven now. Still 1-1. Matt Kemp dropped to ninth in the order. Who cares where he's hitting, though? How about what he's hitting? A two-run go-ahead homer. Big Jonathan Braxton comes on to close it for his 15th save. 3-1 is your final. Kemp's eighth homer is the game winner. Corey Wade comes on in relief only to blow the save and then later pick up his second win. The Dodgers, with the best record in all of baseball, they get plugged in and leave the Rangers in the dark.